Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with our Lee Sung Woo career mode here. We are looking at the last episode that we are going to be playing in Aberdeen. So pretty exciting game coming up here. Um, sorry, I'm just adjusting some levels with the audio. Um, but like I said, last game of the Aberdeen um, series, I guess, of our career mode. Um, and we actually managed to grab a goal here in the 29th, 30th minute of this game against Celtic. Actually, both games of this episode are going to be against Celtic. They're the last two games of the season, one in the league, and then we play them in the um, final of the cup as well. So two really big games here. Obviously, the one in the league is, you know, just kind of getting us ready for the cup, basically, um, because Celtic have tied up the league a very long time ago. So, um this was fun playing in Aberdeen. I know I said this in the last episode and probably the episode before that, but I genuinely did enjoy playing at this club. And I think if I was here for the entire season, I could have done big things. But I'm uh, definitely very excited to get back into the Barcelona squad. As of right now, we're 78 rated. Um, definitely getting ready to contend for that starting job. Well, not necessarily a starting job, but a good placing in the squad. You know, I'm hoping to get at least half of the games of the season, maybe. You know, if it's a little less than that, that's totally fine. If it's more, even better. Um, I think that I can start some of those games and just have Suarez come in behind me if we're, if we're in need of a goal or anything like that. But I would love to go into that team and, you know, just play some sort of role with that squad. Um, so we will be going back to Barcelona and hopefully staying there. I have no interest in leaving. Um, as you guys see, these are the uh, goals that were set for me for the half season that I had at Aberdeen. We managed to hit the goals on the dot. We missed the assist by one. And then um, we managed to get the player rating and uh, the other rating, um, the passer rating, I think is what it was, or the goal, sh goal to, the shot to goal uh, margin thing we got as well. So I'm um, really glad to have hit that. I was glad we did win that game. I'm pretty sure we won. I didn't actually check the result after the game uh, because obviously I did come off at halftime. A lot, of, a lot could have changed, but I was much more focused on coming into this game and putting in my best performance. So here in the 30th minute again, I worked my way into the box and I just ended up getting on my left foot and it ended up hitting a defender. So sad not to get a goal. It would have been pretty funny if I would have managed to grab a goal in the 29th, 30th minute, two games in a row against the same team. Um, but, you know, I knew this was going to be a challenge. They were going to put a much stronger squad out than they did in that um, league final. Um, I knew this was going to be their strongest team possible. They were going to put all their effort into it because, you know, they want to they want to win the double in the league or in the in the country. So I totally understand that. Knew it was going to be a hard game, but I knew it was all up to me basically to make sure that we could somehow manage to pull this out. I didn't know what we were going to need to do, who was going to need to score. I was ready to assist, score, whatever I needed to do, totally take myself out of the game, um, see what I needed to do to win this game. But as you guys see, we had two shots, one on target. They had zero shots, zero on target at the half. So, you know, I was pretty confident. I was like, you know what, we can win this game. We can get a title. And then in the 60th minute, they almost scored. And then I got a little bit more humble. And I was like, you know what? maybe we can't win this game maybe maybe i'm stretching a little too far i just need to count my blessings and move back to barcelona but um on a real note this game was close and here in the 79th minute there's one more opportunity here uh, we actually just managed to poke the ball away and i honestly thought you know if there was a chance for us to score it was right here but ended up being offside i i you know i didn't agree with the call whenever it happened but um it, it was it was the right call let's be honest it, it was close but it was the right call uh, so we were not able to grab the goal we were certainly going to score from that position so a little disappointing um, but coming to the end of regulation it is still nil nil that was our best chance at the end of the game but just didn't end up working out in our favor so it is going to go into extra time at nil nil as you guys probably t uh, could tell by the fact that we're only four minutes into this episode and it's already the end of the uh, second game but um you know i thought they were gonna score right there i don't know how they didn't score right there i don't know how he managed to hit the post with his head but we move on we're we're fine we're moving into extra time we just got to keep holding out. At, at the 90th minute point, they had five shots, one on target. We had three shots, one on target. So this was, the, this was what we needed to do. We had to find a way to somehow pull it out in this second, uh, the, the first half of um, extra time. And 
if you guys were watching that play and seeing how it was breaking down, there was a wide open opportunity for him to lob that ball over the top to the striker and just be open on goal. But he ended up not taking it. So we have an opportunity here in the 117th minute. I get tackled in the outside of the box. I wish I could have just jumped over that challenge and moved forward because I definitely think I could have scored from that position. Um, but we end up getting this opportunity. Uh, Boyata, I believe, is a Man City player. Which is funny because I think Celtic also has a Man U player on this team. So a little interesting there. But um, should have scored from this free kick. Beautiful free kick. Keeper makes a fantastic save though. So we're, we're approaching that end of extra time at a nil-nil draw. Which means penalties are looming. So Celtic gets one more opportunity here to make sure that we don't go into penalties. They're on the break. I'm like, okay, we, we just lost. It's over. But our keeper comes up with a massive save. They have one more opportunity here to cross it into the box and get another opportunity. They take it on the volley and the keeper makes yet another save, saving us, giving them a corner to end out the end of the uh, end of the extra time and take us into penalties. So, you know, that was that was it. That was the defining moment in our game, in, in our season. If we were gonna win, it was gonna be because of that save right there. So um, as we move into penalties. I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't know how this team played. I knew I was exhausted, so whenever I stepped up to the penalty mark, as you guys are going to see in that bottom right corner, because FIFA, for whatever reason, doesn't know how to keep that on all players during penalties. But I'm exhausted. The entire team's exhausted. Their entire team's exhausted. And uh, it's just a sloppy game of penalties, a really, really sloppy game of penalties. It's always frustrating doing this in a player career mode because you just have to watch your keeper basically do nothing and watch your teammates hopefully not struggle so we managed to get it at a 1-1 tie so far going into the third set of penalties um, they hit a beautiful penalty our keeper still not moving at this point I step up to the line I power it up as much as possible hit it to the right and the keeper makes the save so I actually missed the one off the last opportunity I had to impress this team before I left and impress Barcelona ended up having my penalty saved so really disappointing there uh, they make their next penalty so now it's 3-1 at this point and Watt steps up to the line he does a stutter and ends up knocking it into space into orbit it's still circling earth to this day so they end up winning the cup and the league they do the double they're doing some crazy team celebrations where they're all running in one di uh, direction our entire team is on our knees looking at the ground looking at our shoelaces just really depressed that we could have won this game um, so a little disappointing to end my Aberdeen career there but really really excited to move forward into the Barcelona season I was hoping during the offseason I was gonna be able to uh, up my stats a little bit probably should have played them in all honesty because simulating them didn't go well for me got a lot of C's and D's throughout but this is the squad that we're coming into in Barcelona the majority of the squad is the same a lot of the defenders are the same Montoya is out on loan at Inter Borja Lopez came into the squad again uh, the, like I said the majority of the squad is the same we got another Del we have a Delgado a left back from the youth squad Busquets is an 88 rated um, <coughs> just looking through the rest of the squad Iniesta 90 rated overall Rakitic playing incredibly well at an 85 rated um, we have this Rolando Ahrens who I forgot who he used to play for but we ended up bringing him into the squad as a left mid Halilovic is an 82 rated at 20 years old which is incredible Messi still in the squad obviously um, and Christian Teo is back in the squad so that's a lot of attacking talent that I'm going to have to go up against in the next season we also have a youth player in the squad at striker and Salvo Chamorro but we are 78 rated Suarez is 90 rated so it's going to be a battle of us basically going at it for the Barcelona spot so if you guys are interested in the next episode make sure you like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy and until the next one I'll see you guys later